Hello. If you're watching this, you may well have been tagged. And now we've made eye contact, you can't ignore the tag. If you don't respond to the tag, I'll be embarrassed. I'll have to leave the internet. So please respond. If you are tagged, I'll let you know at the end of the video. Now you have to sit and watch the whole thing. In fact, it's going to be a short one. The topic of today's video is your favourite knife steel for a folding knife and for a fixed blade knife, and why? Without going on for too long. So, let's start with the least controversial. Oh, is there such a thing? Can you be non-controversial with knives these days? Jeez, you can't do anything without someone saying, Oh, you're doing that wrong. You're wrong for this following 17 reasons. No. My favourite knife still in a pocket knife is M4. I like M4 for a lot of reasons. And I know it's not stainless, and for some reason that doesn't bother me because I don't, just don't use it for food prep, so then I can use WD-40 on it all the time to keep it pretty nice. And even when it did build up some rust on some, we had some humid weather, I just buffed it off with some light sandpaper. It was lovely. And the best thing about this steel, it takes a super sharp edge, and it sharpens ah, not too badly. I would have said my other two steels were, that I was going to choose, were 110V, which just sharp, it's even on the Tormac, that's tricky stuff. And the Tormac can sharpen anything with no effort or intelligence required, which is perfect for me. But, so S110V was out, and then CTS XHP, you know what? Technically, on my numbers, like my steel test, it actually did a bit better, but for some reason, I just like M4 a little bit more. This is M4 on a Spyderco Mantra 1, and it's just delightful stuff. It holds an edge for ages. It sharpens not too badly, it's actually fine to sharpen. And I think the best thing about it is, if this knife was in 110V, it'd be an extra $100. It's not the most expensive steel in the world for like the super steel performance. You know, it's a good, you know, 50 cuts more than S30V, like all my steel tests. It's, it's really great stuff and I like it a lot. And I like it a lot on this knife and I like it a lot. It's a good steel for a lot of reasons and you can boost it up to those fixed blades because it's tough stuff as well. The 110Vs, the ZDPs, they're brittle, they'll chip, those sorts of reasons. This stuff, fantastic. Tough and strong. I like it. So that's my favourite steel for a folding knife. Now, my favourite steel for a fixed blade knife. You know what? I think the default answer for everyone is 3V, but it's not really for me. In my fixed blade knives, I prefer the stainless. I really do. I do a lot of kayaking, you see. And even the really high-end 3V, which is a powdered carbon steel, it'll rust on you a bit. You have to be a bit, you have to worry about it, you have to watch, you have to watch it, you have to, oh shit, you have to go wake you wake up in the middle of the night, I forgot to take my knife out of its sheath. I've just been on a holiday, or, you know, kayaking and shit. What do I do? You creep up to the shed and sure enough it's got a little patina on it, you know? It's it's a worry. It's you know, it cuts for a lot longer, but it's you know, just with my fixed blades, I like to use them and then kind of forget about it until I use them, use them again. So, the laminated VG10 in the Falcon Even S1 is perfect for me. My fixed blades generally only see action against wood and food. And wood and food don't really do too much to the edge They're in terms of abrasiveness and making it dull. Um, and this laminated VG10, it's tough enough to do the heavy batoning stuff, and yet it's stainless enough to not really have to worry too much about it. And I love it for that reason. It's convex ground in this, and it takes a razor sharp edge. Brilliant stuff. And it is my favorite fixed blade knife steel. How wrong am I, right? Not choosing a carbon steel. God, I'm the worst. If I'm the worst, please tell me in my comments. I guarantee you I'll read them, and I won't just block you. That's, that's just not something I look into my eyes. I would never block you for being a cockhead in my uh, channel comments. Absolutely not. In fact, if you're not getting a response, just keep writing, that'll help. Keep typing, type a really long response. I'm sure I haven't secretly blocked you and no one will know, it, it'll be fine. Just everyone will read your response. Don't worry that no one's liked it or responded to it. That doesn't mean I've hidden your comments from everyone else. Anyway, um, but by all means, I'd love for some civil discourse about knife stills. Tell me what your favorites are and if you're tagged, then please do a video response. My tags for this video are Big brown guy, although I reckon I can guess what yours are going to be already, but tell everyone, man. Um, Birdshot IV, or is it 4? Will we ever know? I don't mind. Um, you guys, one or both of you, are tagged. Deal with it. And Joe from Feral Woodcraft, you are tagged. And 
Kit Bloke, my regularly commenting friend, you are tagged, and so are you, Killer Deegan, my other regularly commentating commenting friend. Let's hear it. Peace out, y'all. I'll see you later.